Hi everyone, this is Art for Games. I'm Janta Silva. Today's topic is zombies, so join with me until end. Right, I got some real zombie pictures to understand the keys we need to know before draw. Here we have these beautiful zombies. This basic process, almost everyone forget it, is reference. Reference is the key of creativity. You need to fill up your brain with images. I mean, use your eyes for observation. Now, after we understand a little bit better the anatomy, what we want, so feel free to explore more your things. We will begin with a sketch. The drawing stage is very rough. Try to keep the idea. Don't spend a lot of time in this stage. Listen to music and let your imagination work to you. As you can see, even Disney artists does this process to create anything. So try to practice a lot of drawing. Ok, you got it? Now it's time to make our line art. My tip is, if you make mistakes, you can correct on final stage. If you are a student or an artist that doesn't use a shape, you can fill up your drawings with selection tool. Works the same as shape. Be aware with the order layers. Organize as soon as you insert a new element. The eyes, hands and feet are the most detailed limbs of the body. So in this case, after defining the head shape, I like to create eyes details to give me a final sense. This can take a lot of time if you don't use proper techniques. For the eyes, I'm using two iron shadows. One for the bottom and another for the top. I'm using my classical technique of layer effect. If you are a beginner, please try to study the basic. This technique is addictive. I developed this to allow me to work faster with the amount of game assets that need to be done. I like to apply Gaussian effects to blend my colors. At least three colors I use and one for lighting back. Of course, you can save a lot of time when you duplicate similar objects. When you are hard in work, you can do this. But please, I recommend, if you are studying, try to draw without using much technology. For this video, I'm not going to talk so much because this video was a little bit longer than others. I want to just focus on the keys of this, of this process. You can follow it and of course you can slow down.
this video I just focus on the key of my process so feel free to try by yourself in your art okay If you like art, be patient with your drawings, give you time to learn. When you are designing for games, you need to separate the limbs. I mean, you create a rig. Rig is a kind of animation, animation skeleton. If you are an animator, you need to know you have bones that will move your body character. So you can follow me on Instagram to ask me anything about art game design. Please subscribe to see more. Okay, bye bye.